Hey, welcome back everybody. Uh, we're gonna do some valve work, so uh, let's try it out. Okay, this is what I got going on so far. I did cylinder number one, three, five, and now I'm gonna do seven. Uh, I had my valves laid out right here. I labeled that number one. And this one is also number one, since I know this is on the driver's side and you can't really mix up the exhaust and intake valves so what I'm doing here is just lapping them I'm gonna show you what I'm doing uh, you can do it however you want there's like a million and one videos of how to lap valves but uh, this is what I'm doing for my LS turbo build so maybe you can learn something maybe you uh, won't maybe uh, maybe you have a different way to do it and you can tell me how to do it down below but the intake's really easy, the exhaust is a little bit more difficult. I also have right here a lap till not quite good enough. So I'll show you what I mean by not quite good enough. Unless you think it's good, I'll show you what I mean by not quite good enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and lap the intake. All right, I have the valves. I go set by set and this is a uh, number seven that I had soaking and just some um, Simple green, you can use purple power, whatever you, your favorite degreaser, just to get all, most of the junk off, not all of it, most of it. But, um, you might try to clean these off, they'll still have uh, some gunk on the end. Some people use a wire brush, uh, sandpaper, whatever, whatever they use, but uh, I'll show you what I'm doing. I got these little buff balls for uh, my Dremel tool. They're pretty nice. Uh, I got them in four different flavors. Yeah, 120, 120 grit to 400. I'll, use, I'll leave a link below, of course, as always. But uh, I'm not really polishing these up. I'm just getting rid of the black dirt. That's basically all you need. And the only reason I'm doing that, I would, I don't know, helps clean them off, but any more than that, you don't really need. But really, all I'm doing it for is so I can take this lapping tool, bop, so it sticks. So if you don't remove that, it might not stick. So just a little tip, if uh, your little tool's not sticking, just clean off your face a little bit more and it should work. Otherwise, uh, Got a bad sucking cup and you'll probably have to get a new one. So let's pop this in the head and uh, start lapping it. All right, instead of just dropping the valve right in, what I do first is uh, pull a little oil on it. See it dripping off there. Don't need too much, just a little lubrication for the, the guide. And then I'll pop on my suction cup like so. I'll take uh, some valve grinding compound. Um, this is just basic stuff, permataxi and grab it. Almost at any auto parts store. I think I went to a couple, they didn't have any of this, but uh, they do have it online. And of course, I'll leave a link below. Cause uh, it's just simpler that way. All right, now that I got a little on there, I lost my cap. Here it is. Pop that right back on. Now you want to be careful. You don't want to hear any scratching in your guide. And if you do, you're going to have to clean out your guide. But, uh, you just got to be a little bit careful. My first couple, I wrapped a little uh, paper towel around the uh, stem just so it picks up any grit that it has. And uh, see, have coverage all the way around. Just give it a process
there uh that's all i really have to do on the intake uh, i might be a little intense intensive is that the word intensive to doing them i didn't want that one labor intensive but what i'm doing now is cleaning these off i'll clean up the seat so the intake's gonna be the easiest one. We'll check if we have a good pattern or a, a good mating surface between the two. There we go. And as you're lapping, um, it starts as a big grit. I know I was looking for different types of grit to lap these valves, but the grit actually breaks down as you're going, so it gets finer and finer, so you'll have like a better finish than when you started. And uh, at the very end, I'll keep down and lap it all the way down to the, it kind of sounds finer. Like you, you'd be able to tell when it's like a coarse to fine, kind of like sandpaper. When it sounds fine, that's, when I keep it down, that's when um, the last little bit I'm going. So, now I got it cleaned off. Fairly good. Fairly good. Yep, don't feel anything crazy on there. I'll just take some of this Prussian blue. Uh, this stuff do <laughs> doesn't dry, so if you have dry hands or clean hands, get this stuff on there. It's gonna you're just gonna get blue all over your hands. So uh, just be uh, a little careful with it. But just put a little on like that. Now I'll take my tool. Got a little grit in my guide. It'll be fine for now. I'm not lapping any serious passes. No. Let's get my grit in there. I, I gotta clean that out quick. There we go. Have it down there. Just put our suction cup back on. There's our contact pattern. And you can also just want to go a little bit. I'll show if you have any missing spots on there. Looks like we have a pretty good uh, contact patch. Now, let's uh, move on to the exhaust. Oh yeah, I label. I, uh, off camera, I just cleaned this up and it's popped in there. Uh, same as the intake. Uh, Take the little drum hole, clean the face, just so I can get the suction cup on there. I don't have any grit under there right now, but this one's gonna be a little bit different. Not by much, but just a little bit different from the intake, just cause they're a lot rougher. And uh, I'll just do a quick time lapse right now. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty damn close to the intake side, except I clean it off and I do it three times because uh, these are pretty bad. I don't know if it's just the heat that gets to them, but uh, 
Yeah, they should be good after three times. There was uh, the first one I did multiple times. Yeah, I was just like, uh, I'll do more than one time uh, lapping these valves and it pretty much worked. Uh, pretty much clean these up. And quick clean this one up and then uh, I'll actually show you what I mean by not quite good enough. Well, I don't think it's quite good enough. I'll check this one after. Take a look at that valve. All right, I think I got the camera close enough to take a look at this valve, but it is an exhaust valve. We'll pull it up. Give me a flashlight. Let's see here. It's gonna be really hard to see because I can't zoom in with this using a GoPro. But right there. Right there. Hopefully you can see this on camera. It's right there and right there. It's not quite clean. It's like a like a dark spot. Hopefully you can see that. Dark spots right there, and right there. It almost seems like it's not quite cleaned up, but uh, I'll go through that later. I'll just uh, lap it a little bit better and uh, have them all like the other ones, check them, and if they're all cleaned up, then we're gonna assemble.